What made you leave the club that obviously you fell in love with and join the iconic red of Bayern Munich? It's not a team that you want to grow up and say, okay, it's a bridge to another team. The leading force was, I need minutes. <laughs> I need minutes. Yeah, yeah. See you, man. See you too. Thanks for coming on. I really okay. appreciate it. You're one of my favourite ballers. For, <laughs> Thank um, you very much. Pleasure to come on the show. Um, so welcome to What I Wore. It's basically a show where we kind of go through your life story based on all the shirts that you've played and kind of defined your life. So we're, we're going to oh. start. We're going to start from your very beginning, early days. So obviously, born in Italy in okay. 1991. Just talk me through when you see these shirts and your father playing in the 94 World Cup. What kind of memories spring to mind initially? It was uh, I think for my whole family, most for my dad was a. Uh, Great moment, but yeah, yeah. for sure. And after we we got some VHS <laughs> videos, yeah, and we yeah. we didn't stop. I think it was weekly to watch the full goals of Brazil of that uh, World Cup. Yeah. So watching your dad in this shirt, did that put pressure on you to like become a footballer and be as like good as your dad one day? No, it was not. A, was not a pressure. It was more like a. Uh, some motivation for us because we love football since we were young. Me and my brother, we played together, and we, we just I think we keep being better between us. Yeah. And for us, it was a motivation to see how that was a World Cup winner. So we say, okay, we won, we won that. <laughs> More than to say, okay, we have to do that. No, no, we won that. Yeah, I love so that. It was good. So you played with like, your youth days, played in Brazil in these shirts here. Any memories that spring to mind when you see these shirts? I think that that one is is. A bit Zico one, a <laughs> big, yeah, yeah, yeah. A big uh, legend there. But then the, I have more memories with this one. We were in Rodrigo's house in the, the uh, Leeds player. Wow. In that time, we were watching the, the like in Brazil final. There is Flamengo against Vasco. My dad grew up uh, as a Vasco da Gama player, and Rodrigo's dad as a Flamengo player. Wow. And in that time, we were fans of Vasco. We were in a house that the whole family was Flamengo. And Petkovic, main player in that time, he scored a wonderful free kick. And in that day on, we convert to we'll Flamengo, switch. we switched, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we have to, to say what we betrayed with my dad in that time. <laughs> but we were too young and we just loved football in that time, not about we like this team or this yeah, team, yeah. we like football. You moved to Spain at the, the famous Barca Academy. What kind of springs to your mind, your early memories playing as a, a youth team player? In some of these shirts here. Well, it's a long, it's a long way because from our move to, from Brazil to Spain, I played in a team in my, I consider my hometown that is Vigo. My mom didn't allow us to play in the hometown team that is Celta Vigo, so we were playing in a team with friends. Okay, but why, why, why didn't you? Because my dad played there for six years. They didn't treat him well at the end, so my mom said, okay. Will be there, but you will never play that team. <laughs> and we at the end we agree because we end up beating teams like Celta, Madrid. We end up beating Barcelona with that small team that they had wow. because Rodrigo was involved and a couple more players were involved, like professional players. There is a big uh, road till we move from Brazil to, to yeah, reach yeah, Barcelona. Yeah. And yeah, it was a different world. A team like Barcelona who create a basic, a basis of the team from eight years old till you are professional, you have to play that way. It was a new world that we have to to learn with Barcelona for sure. So when you said you was uh, earlier was looking at motivation, your dad. When I see some of these players that played in this team, yeah. obviously Ronaldinho, and like Messi coming uh -huh. through, was this like seeing these guys up close and personal? Was that extra motivation for you as well? Yeah, for sure. Ronaldinho was the player who I think he, he made us. Uh, Stand up while we were in the sofa watching the, the games, you know. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. he was different. He was uh, what uh, football meant meant to me in that time, and and yeah, I think I became a Barca fan mainly because of him. Because of sure. Ronaldinho, because yeah, of for Ronaldinho, sure. Yeah. You make your your debut against Mallorca in this shirt. Yeah, Gaffer calls you up. What's that feeling like? I'm a, I'm a guy that loves football. I'm sick. Of, I'm sick of football. <laughs> love it. But I'm not a guy who loves the myths. So for me was a point I wasn't when I was young. I was thinking, okay, I will be a football player anyway. You just knew I, it. I, I knew it. You I knew it. it. I like so, that. I like that. So in that time, it's like I put on and say, yeah, that's that's the one that <laughs> I have to wear. You know, <laughs> yeah, not, yeah, yeah. not this one, not yeah, this one, yeah. this one yeah, yeah, from yeah, this yeah. year. So, but yeah, at the end, even if you're wearing a like this great this great shirt and you feel yourself like it suits on me, I think you are playing with players that 
Valentin Henry, Eto, Messi with the Iniesta, Xavi, so we say, okay, uh, 18, 19 years old guy with those guys that you have a lot to learn with them, so yeah. just keep learning, keep playing with them and to see how they behave also when you play with them. Right, because right. you are watching on TV and suddenly you say, okay, so they are faster than I thought. So they are <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You That's just have to adapt and be yourself on the pitch and that was a good thing. When I think of Thiago in a Barca uh -huh. shirt, this is the shirt I think okay. of. I love the uh, Barcelona shirts because beginning it's all the, the same stripe, same color. It's nothing changed, nothing fancy. Just be yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was watching you at Barca, I thought you're gonna be here forever. Uh -huh. You're the new Xavi. What made you leave the club that obviously you fell in love with and uh -huh. join the iconic red of Bayern Munich? I need to hear yeah, it from you because no, I've been no, speculating. For, like, no, what, made no, you, first, what made you leave? But first, a team uh, of like Barcelona, you, you don't want to uh, just move. It's not a team that you want to grow up and say, okay, it's a bridge to another team. Mm. It's a team that you want to uh, grow up with and play for. So that my, was my main idea, each team, each level. When you reach the first team, okay, I'm here. Now I have to make my name on the team to be important for, the, for my teammates and, and be the football player that I want to be. I'm facing legends yeah, beside yeah. me, so it was difficult at that time to to get a, uh, mi the minutes that I want to play. Right. Guardiola just left the club. I say, okay, he moved to Bayern. He called me to go there. I say, why not? So, like Pep was like the leading force in you in you moving here. Well, the leading force was I need minutes. <laughs> I need minutes. Yeah. I didn't follow follow up that much the Champions League, but I, Bayern was a recent the Champions League winner. So yeah, yeah. I say, okay. It's a great challenge. They they won it. I want to win again. What was it like when you put on this shirt for the first few times and you're playing in a whole different country, different culture? What was the shocking things that you didn't expect? First, the, this feeling that there's big batch. I had already with with Barcelona that you say, okay, it's a big batch. I have a big shirt now. I'm wearing. Mm. It seems heavy. But then when you move to buy, okay, you're on the same level. You're already uh, used to that heavy shirt right, representing right, right. that uh, big team. So you say, good now. It's yourself. It's not about the badge, it's about the numbers, it's about the player. We've got some of your buying shirts here that you played in. What was your favorite shirt to play in? Are you a shirt guy? Like, because you're a stylish guy to me. Do you know what I mean? You look kind of <laughs> cool. Like, I love this one here. Yeah, it's really nice. We had a, a big a big trouble with our fans with the, with the blue one because Bayern is like Liverpool, all red. Right. And suddenly we have the, te the other team of the town that was uh, uh, 1860. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what? Is, so they are blue. So we we're on this in blue shorts. And at the end was a revolution of the fans and say, no, 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 we have to at least take out the blue shot. And we put the, the red one again. But yeah, was a bit the controversial. Oh, wow. I think you That's... remember that, that most because of Xavi Alonso. He first wore, wore this, yeah, that one. this one. Yeah, this one, yeah, it's iconic, yeah. But I'm, I, I think I like that first, the white one, because it was uh, Oktoberfest. Oh, And it's okay. like the t-shirt of the Oktoberfest and was really nice. Yeah. This, this similitude. So this was your favorite one in a band shirt, yeah? It was the first that I liked yeah. that much. And then the second one, Where's the red one? This one here? No, that one I liked it a lot. Oh, with and the I, color. I, and I don't like polos. You don't like polos? I don't like polos, but this, this one I liked it. I liked a lot. How comes? I don't know. I think because I didn't, I never were in a team of polos. So was the first right, one I said, yeah, okay, it's yeah. a bit old, old fashioned. So old I said, okay, like, so I think that one. What is it like coming to the Premier League? Yeah, yeah. For sure, it was a big decision. Chema League is awesome, but we were winning it for eight years in a row. I say, okay, come on, you, you wanna, yeah, you come was, on, let's yeah, something more yeah, yeah, challenging yeah. as a yeah. and the biggest one in that moment. Now it's Premier League, right, right, right. So, which are the teams that for me were more iconic in the Premier League? Which one is a better project, better coach, and Liverpool was perfect for that. So. What well, I think was a match from, from the first day. I'm going to move on to Spain. Obviously, we got the hat trick against Italy. We got the 40-yard free kick against Switzerland. Why did you choose Spain? Oh, <laughs> I had to ask you that, bro. Why so did you have you to take one yeah, of the first issues yeah, yeah. and put it here? Why, yeah. why did you choose Spain? Well, it came out. Of, I started to play with Spain with, Spain with uh, I think I was 14 years old. So it just came natural because I was playing. Barcelona, playing for Spain. And I was growing up with the same lads in the yeah, national yeah, team. Yeah. I said, okay, why not? We have a great group. And at the end, we won yeah, two you times won in a row so the, the 21. So 
was a great decision to play with our lads for so long. But when you see these shirts here, is it weird that your brother plays for Brazil? No, because he has more like, let's say the, he's more attached to Brazil, he born there. Mm. So is that's I think it's a mainly different the difference that he born in Brazil and actually born in Italy. I never feel that okay this patriotic things that people can have. I don't feel I feel a worldwide person who likes all kind of people who understand all kind of religion. So I prefer to be more like that, just attached to okay, I'm this because I'm Brazilian, this because I'm Spain. no no no. You evolve. Was very natural to choose Spain for me. Okay. Prefer. Thanks for coming on. We've got one more question for you, right? Okay. So Tiago, you're in a burning building, yeah? You need to save two shirts. Oh my you God. You can only save two, yeah? So one shirt is based on your favorite memory in a football shirt. There's no fireproof dishes and then, here, No, right? no okay. fireproof. You've got two, two choices. One is best memory on a football shirt. Mm -hmm. And then the second one is the best looking shirt here. I think 100% best memory is th that one because at the end it's my first memory in football. I, we have at home the t-shirt of my dad. Wow. The final of the World Cup, so yeah, represent uh, a lot for us because my dad wore it, but for sure. Okay, that. we're gonna save one based on the looks. Definitely this white from Bayern. I think it was really nice in that time. Yeah, clean. Remember we were doing the photo shooting and we say, wow, everybody, yeah, yeah. we all we were amazed with it. I like those two choices. That's good, man. Thiago, so. thank you so much for coming Bro. on. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Big pleasure. Thank you very much.